Good morning, everybody. Well, it's lunchtime. Good, good afternoon. It's after 12. Yeah, so I had a late night last night. Stayed up till 2, got up at uh, 9 o'clock or something like that, 10 o'clock. Yeah, so, yeah, just a quick video to um, let you know what's going on in here in Thailand. I know that um, a lot of you are wanting to come to Thailand soon. And I'm thinking, and everybody here is hoping that uh, this is going to happen. Hopefully, uh, 1st of November, uh, many of the restrictions and, uh, and travel options uh, are going to be opened up, according to the Prime Minister, who's made the announcement, well, of course, that's uh, not being confirmed by the CCSA or CSA or whatever the group is that's governing the emergency situation is called, but apparently everyone's looking forward to it and everyone's fairly confident that Thailand is going to begin opening up on the 1st of November so if you're vaccinated which a lot of people are uh, you uh, get your paperwork together and uh, you'll be able to come and visit Thailand without quarantine apparently and I believe that the gist of the message from the Prime Minister was that uh, bars massage shops uh, restaurants will be uh, fully opened and hopefully able to sell alcohol and uh, do entertainment uh, as from the 1st of November now please don't quote me uh, a lot of the news is in Thai and I don't understand it there are some English language uh, uh, streaming news services that uh, translate the news and uh, of course there are a, a multitude of Facebook pages that have the information on it. And uh, hang on, I'm just having a coffee while I'm talking to you. So apparently uh, the country's starting to open up on the 1st of November. Uh, red zones, dark red zones, the, the way they've colour coded the emergency system and, and places in Thailand is going to change somewhat as are the restrictions. So if you're looking forward to coming to Thailand very soon you will be able to, I've actually noticed uh, quite a few people from uh, Europe and England drifting in now in uh, small amounts and so uh, it's going to happen and we all hope so as you can see uh, behind me here this is the uh, like the walking street of Cha Am, the bar street in Cha Am. So very necessary for my business here, for the shop to uh, make a go of it. At the moment we're just covering cost. Had to uh, close for a couple of days. My staff got really sick from the vaccine. Poor girl, but she's feeling a bit better today. So we're uh, here, knocking up a fresh pack of Tago mix and um, yeah so things are starting to look a little bit optimistic uh, at the moment it's raining the background sound you can hear is rain uh, it's a different sort of rain for thailand I've, I've not really experienced it like this just a set in half rain drizzle sort of thing Usually we just get massive downpours for an hour or whatever and, you know, just tropical storms. Wet season, that's Thailand. Cha Am normally the driest place in the whole of Thailand, the driest, um, the driest uh, little section is our bit of coastline here, even though it's on the Gulf of Thailand, apparently it's the driest part of Thailand. But we've been getting a bit of rain every day and every night at the moment plants are looking good they're loving it the tourists uh, the local tourists are still here it doesn't dampen their enthusiasm it was uh, murder just driving up the main road to get here this morning and uh, I'm telling you it's really unfortunate with all the new laws that are being passed and the uh, fascist type controls that uh, have been exerted over people in some places around the world Australia in particular, Australia in particular, 
uh, I get to see, to all my Aussie friends, I get to see a lot of streaming services here that you don't get in Australia. And uh, believe me, the Australian government and the police force there in some places are the laughing stock of the world. And uh, it appears incredibly fascist in intent as well as activity. So yeah, I feel sorry for you guys, but hopefully it's all ending soon. And I believe some police are standing up and don't want to be violently arresting people for not having a mask on or being six kilometers out of their LC or whatever it is. So yeah, times are tough there, but things are looking up and uh, it's gonna get better. And uh, I see my, my staff over here is um, just uh, looking at me with amusement at what I'm doing. <laughs> talking away to myself on camera but yeah so things are looking better you want to come to Thailand soon I'm pretty sure it's gonna I'm just playing around with the microphone receiver here it won't stick to the to the stand I can just hang there on the cable it's okay yeah so I'm trying the new uh, Rode 2 mic again today to see how the sound comes out I've had uh, sound problems and uh, I want to try and get a little bit better. Okay, so look, as well as just a little bit of information about what's going on here in Chaham and in Thailand, um, I also want to uh, ask you, uh, all my subscribers and other people watching as well, please subscribe to the video, to my channel. It only takes a few minutes of your time. Uh, you'll be notified if you hit the bell notification well then you'll be notified when I post another video but please share them sharing the videos around Facebook or, or whatever wherever sharing the videos and subscribing to them helps me to build the channel uh, it helps the small little community that's evolved there in the channel it helps that to evolve and, and get bigger as well and then uh, conversations begin to occur between people uh, commenting on the channel and of course I love reading the comments I love answering anyone that comments it's uh, it's interactive it makes the whole thing interactive and it makes it more interesting for me I'm not just sitting there listening to myself or watching my own uh, stuff what I find interesting and attractive to video uh, I hope that you do too and if you like it please subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button down in the corner and please share the videos that really helps and comments comments uh, do amazing things to the algorithms but they're also you know I'm retired I don't do much you know I sit around on my fat ass most of the time doing nothing so it's good for me to have some interaction with the people that are um, watching the videos so anyway thanks for watching just a small uh, short video on information about Thailand it's opening up you're gonna be able to come here soon if not from November 1st from December the 1st and hopefully entertainment venues will be open and legally serving alcohol from the 1st of November don't quote me 100% I'm not 100% sure but this is the gist of what the Prime Minister has uh, just announced in the last uh, in this previous week so enjoy, uh, please watch the videos about uh, Wildlife Friends Foundation. It's become uh, a small passion of mine now to uh, try and do my bit to help those animals, to help the foundation, to help Edwin keep the, keep the uh, sanctuary and the rescue operations going. From everything, from cats to pumas to, I mean, I can't believe they've got a puma out there that someone had as a pet and dumped or whatever couldn't take care of maybe they didn't dump them maybe they requested that it was taken but yeah and a cassowary and yeah all sorts of creatures out there dogs cats they're in a little hospital out there they've got an ambulance they've got three full-time vets you can imagine that cost a fortune 1.5 million yeah but every month which i think is around sixty thousand dollars australian every month there's no profit in it so Look at the other videos on my um, uh, little series I did on Wildlife Friends uh, Foundation Ja'an and there are links in the information under the video 
uh, that uh, give you access to their web page, their Facebook page, and also the bank account details for donations. I know that this is a real, sincere charity. There's no bullshit with those donations. Everything goes to those animals, everything. It's a non-profit organization. It's an NGO in Thailand. Everything's up and above board. Have a look at the web page anyway. Some beautiful photos there, better than what I could take. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, hit the subscribe button, share the videos. Love you all. See you when I see you. Ciao for now.